All right, let's solve this problem. So this is about finding the center of mass. Uh, lamina is basically of your density is one, so we don't have to worry about it. Bounded by the graph, f of x is equal to four minus x squared, and the x-axis, right? Here is the formula for the center of mass. It says you are x bar comma y bar, which is equal to m y over m comma m x over m where m is the mass which is the density times the area which is basically this particular function right there assuming that you have two functions <coughs> uh, if the region is bounded by two graphs f and g m y is this one and uh, m x is this one but if you have only one of them it is simply this right there it is simply that right there it is simply this right there right so in this case, since it's the x-axis, so technically this is y is equal to zero. So you can treat uh, you can treat g f x is zero, g f x is zero, g f x is zero. We don't have to worry about it, right? But that's the general formula for the uh, finding the center of mass. Okay, let's uh, do this problem. But before you all know, I'd like to graph first. So let's try to quickly graph the function that we have. If I graph them, let me keep this on the side. Let me do the graph. Here is my y axis. Here is my x axis. I think I'm going to take this guy out to the middle. <clears throat> and here is one, two, three, four. When x is zero, y is four. When x is 2, y is 0, and when x is negative 2, y is 0, right? So it's going to be a parabola starting here, ending there, going through that point. So it is going to look something like that. So look something like that, right? It's a negative 2 to positive 2. So this is the lamina that we are working with. We're going to find the center of mass by looking at the picture you can see since this is symmetric with respect to the y-axis so movement around the y-axis is going to be zero right so you can say m y is going to be zero because it's symmetric right you can do that in other words center of mass on the x bar is going to be zero by just looking at it we can say that but you can also plug it in and, and do that, right? <clears throat> so let's calculate the center of mass. To do that, let's calculate the mass first, right? The formula for the mass is is equal to m is equal to in this case uh, rho times the area. The rho is one. The area is negative two to two, four minus x squared dx. Since it's an even function, you can say this is two times zero to two if you want to, but you can leave it that leave it like that. Either way, we are okay. If I integrate this guy, what do I get? I'm gonna have four x minus x cubed over three negative two to two, right? Yes, right. If I apply the limits, what do I get when I apply two? It's going to be 4 times 2 minus 8 over 3, right? And when I apply negative 2, what do I get? Mm -hmm. Or 3. We can do that, yes. <clears throat> so it's going to be 8 minus 8 over 3, and I see two of them in here, right? I see two of them in there, so I can say this is two times of that, which is going to be this is uh, one times 8, and this is one third of 8, so it's going to be two third of 8, right? Times 2. So this whole thing is 2 times, uh, 2 times 8 third which is 32 over 3. 
that's your mass right there right we already said m y is equal to zero then you don't have to go through the whole calculation right by looking at this we can say this is a uh, moment around the y axis is going to be it's a very symmetric so it's going to be in the middle so it's going to be zero so we're going to say m y is equal to zero but what about m x now let's take a look at the m x which is integral from 0 to no negative 2 to 2 and what I have is 1 half f of x the whole squared dx because g is 0 right so it's going to be 1 half 4 minus x squared the whole squared dx <clears throat> right and let me do the foil if I do the foiling, what do I get? What do I get if I foil it? Mm -hmm. No, squaring it up. Yeah. Yes. Which is 4 squared is 16, right? Minus 2 times 4 is 8. So it's going to be minus 8 times x squared. And then plus x to the fourth you're all okay right yep. dx and if I simplify that I don't have to simplify anything anymore I think we are good to go let's integrate it if I integrate uh, 16 what do I get 16x if I integrate uh, 8x squared what would I get 3 if I integrate x to the 4, what would I get? So if it's over 5, the lower limit is negative 2, upper limit is positive 2. And if we plug in the limit, what are we going to get? So it's going to be one half uh, 16 times 2. I'm just going to apply the upper limit and the low, uh, lower limit right away, right, individually in each term. So it's a 2 minus minus 2 minus minus 2, right? And then minus 8 times. That is going to be 2 cubed. 3 minus minus 2 cubed over 3 and then let's uh, move it a little bit and then I have a plus 2 to the fifth over 5 minus minus 2 to the because the power is odd 2 to the fifth over 5 right if I simplify that guy it's going to be one half 16 times 4 which is 64 minus uh, 8 times that's uh, 8 over 3 8 over 3 16 over 3 plus uh, that is uh, 32 over 5 times 2 so it's technically 64 2 times 32 which is 64 over 5 so what i have is i have one half of 64 minus 64 over 3 plus 64 over 5 sorry 64 over 5 which is simplify you're going to get 256 over 15. The common denominator is 15 right and then if you do that it's you're going to get two and then you have a two also down the bottom Hmm? That's no, it's not. It is just the mx, mx, right? So therefore, your center of mass would be. I'm going to put com. Center of mass would be x bar, comma y bar, which is x bar is m y over m, comma m x over m. M y is zero. 
over that, which is zero, and Emx is this over that, which is going to give me the y bar, right? So it's going to be zero, and this is going to be 256 over 15 divided by what? 32 over 3. If you simplify that further more, you're going to have a zero come up. What do you get? I think you get a eight over five. Wonderful. So that's the answer for that one. And that's your center of mass for this particular problem right there. So we have x bar, y bar as x bar is zero, your y bar is eight over five. Yes. If you want, you can actually calculate. Uh, if you really want to calculate, let me set up the integral. So if you want to calculate, and of course, in this problem, it happened to be zero, does not mean to be zero every time. So if you set it up, this is going to be uh, the integral of x times 4 minus x squared dx and negative 2 to 2. I can also argue it's a zero from here. That's an odd function because of the odd power. And when I multiply these two together, it's a x cubed. That's not an odd function. So whenever you have an odd function going from negative a to it's going to be zero. So you can say that's also going to give you a zero. But if you integrate, if you plug it in, you're still going to have a zero over there. So then that's how we would get this one.